play both? Yes, yes, I've been uh, working in at both positions. I'm just uh, actually helping out with uh, Karari, Kahari uh, moving there and um, just staying behind him and making sure he's, you know, in the right place and everything. Which one's he move to? <clears throat> Will Linebacker. What's he like there? I mean, he's been known as a big hitter in high school, but what are you seeing from him there? Well, uh, we expect the same things from from linebacker. Um, you know, he's got good body size to play linebacker, and he's, um, you know, he's fast and he, he moves well from playing safety. So, I mean, his drops are, are really good, and it's, it's good seeing him there. And it's, it's good because we kind of get to learn from him as he gets to learn from us and everything. And um, we're just glad to have him, you know, with, with our group now. What was your biggest takeaway from the scrimmage on Saturday and taking that the week through practice? Uh, polishing up the important things like um, tackles, making sure we uh, wrap up and drive our feet in tackles and making sure we're in the right place. And we've been getting so much better on it uh, as the uh, spring has progressed. And uh, just seeing how we were opposed to last year already and um, in two, two and a half, three weeks into spring ball and everything, just it, it looks good, and it looks like we're, we're really adjusting well. And the guys that are new coming in, um, that are going to step up and have to play for us, they're they're making plays. Is Cass Cass doing well in the middle? Yeah, he's doing really well. He's uh, doing good with the um, <clears throat> with the checks and everything, and and um, he's giving me feedback on outside. Oh, at will linebacker, and I'm giving him feedback on middle linebacker and everything. And we just know it's it's interchangeable. So. Uh, it wasn't that much of a big jump in adjustment and everything, and just making sure we know everything we're doing. He's doing great, though. Well, Chris, what's the big difference for you playing weak side as opposed to middle? Well, um, middle, you get a chance to you're, – you're in the middle of everything, obviously, so you get a chance to be more sideline to sideline. Will, Will linebacker, you do too, but the drops are just a little bit different on passes. Um, you have a lot more curl flat, curl flat drops uh, rather than uh, hook, hook wall or, or – um, like three hook curl, curl like drops and everything. So it's a little bit of adjustment, but not much. Chris, we've seen uh, you and Cass working kind of almost one on one with uh, uh, Ellis. You know, trying to get your guess uh, your rotations or whatever. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that? What are you getting out of that? Well, really, just uh, polishing things up. Um, we just like I said, we know what we're doing and uh, what our responsibilities are. And uh, now it's just polishing up and, uh, you know, fixing up the loose ends and everything and making sure our drops aren't, you know, two yards away from the spot where we're supposed to be, but we're right where we're supposed to be. And um, just Coach Johnson is just really, you know, exact where he wants us and how he wants us to play. And, you know, that's, that's how it should be. And, and uh, we're, we're, we're happy to, you know, do everything we can to make sure that we're at the right place and get an extra work with Coach Johnson as well as uh, when we're in the film room and everything else. Yeah. Tell me about the comfort level on defense now. you got a, a year under your belt. Uh, now getting back into spring, I mean, hitting the ground running, I mean, how much better and flow is there on defense now? Well, I'm so comfortable that I could play Mike and Will. So I'm, I'm really comfortable now and um, with uh, everything and, and just being adjusted to, to playing college football and, and playing at the level of the SEC and, and playing with the speed and everything and, and knowing the plays and being comfortable enough to actually teach guys like Kahari and uh, be able to, you know, coach them up and help, you know, coach and, and, and make sure guys know where they're at as well as me knowing where I'm at. And it's it's kind of goes above me knowing where I am and just knowing where everybody is on the field. You know, being a Michael linebacker while playing will is an important thing. You guys feel like it would be a better run fit unit there at linebacker compared to last year? Um, it, I mean, so it's, it's going to be pretty much the, you know, it's going to, it's going to be a, a small change. But, I mean, for the most part, we, we, we know where we're supposed to play. We know what we're supposed to do. We know our responsibilities and everything. And that's basically what it is. You know, <clears throat> all of our linebackers have the ability to get the job done. It's just about, you know, knowing when you're supposed to be where. And uh, that's what we're, you know, adjusting to now. At linebacker, are you guys mostly in zone coverage? Are you doing the secondaries and man or? How much, is it, how much of both do you have to do? Well, it switches up from time to time. Sometimes we'll have um, <clears throat> what we call hole players and um, where they read off of the quarterback when we have safety. Sometimes we're the hole player. You know, sometimes we're in man and, you know, we have zone over top of us or it's the other way around. Sometimes we have the corners are in man and everybody else is in zone. You know, it all depends on the coverage and everything. And everything's a read. Nothing's a set play. Like, you know, you, you get the play call and you look at the offense and, 
you know, you, you, you adjust to how the offense is lined up and adjust to the play, and that's how you, you go on. Nothing is, you don't just go out there and just know, okay, I have this curl, I have this drop, or I have this man, because anything can change, especially when you're practicing against Coach Malzahn's offense. When it comes to your eyes, how do you guys, you know, work that out? I mean, how do you try to improve that, and what have you done? Well, um, uh, Coach always tells us that our eyes is one of the most important things about playing linebacker, especially at the start, pre-snap pre -snap read. And uh, knowing where the adjustments are coming from and everything. And us getting so much practice uh, with Coach Malzahn's offense with all the moving parts and all the motions and all the switches and everything. Um, it, it, it helps us practice and prepare for the season in terms of where our eyes are supposed to be and knowing um, uh, what we're supposed to be looking at before the snap and after the snap and what who we're supposed to be reading when. Yeah, it's at, at linebacker. Defensive line is always big for you. Does it bring a smile to your face when you can look and see Montrevious and Gabe playing some defensive end right now? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, <clears throat> we the, the trust factor with our defensive line is, is very high. We, we, have a, we, we trust in them, and we know that they're going to do everything they can to get, jo to get the job done and everything. <laughs> And, um, you know, <clears throat> we're so much more comfortable with each other this year and everything because everything just seems to be coming together more. And um, us being so familiar with the coaches and everything and knowing the scheme, you know, and, you know, a lot of things have changed, but not too much things, you know, as far as uh, the plays that we run or the, the style of coverage that we do and everything. We're just going to continue to, to, you know, perfect what we do and be able to execute it to our best ability. Chris, is a, I mean, you came here. I guess Coach Rudy was here, and then it was Coach Van Gord, and then it was Coach Johnson. How hard is that when, when every year you had a different guy? Well, it's hard. It, it is. Um, when, you know, when you first come in and you, you, know, you have an outlook on how things are going to be and then it changes, and then you're trying to get – you finally feel like – by the end of the year, you finally feel like, especially as a freshman, that you're getting adjusted to that coach. And then when it changes again, it's like, oh, you're starting all over again. But um, the adjustment for this coaching staff and adjustment for these guys was, uh, for all of us, was, was good because we had a whole bunch of players that just wanted to get the job done. And we, we had a whole bunch of players that were hungry to play and hungry to make plays and everything. So uh, it's, just, it's all about the work that you put in and um, how much you understand the game. What was your assessment of the linebacker play last year? And what do you think you can specifically improve on? Uh, definitely being more aggressive. Uh, which we have a, we definitely have opportunity to be more aggressive now with us knowing where to be and, and, and just being so, so much more comfortable in our spots and everything. And um, just being older, being more experienced, because experience goes a long way. <clears throat> and I'm really seeing that firsthand, that experience goes a long way. And, um, you know, just being more aggressive, getting to the ball and tackling is a big thing that we've been really working on. Justin Garrett, I mean, First little guy could play a few positions there, but where do you see him fitting in? Well, right now he's playing um, star, and um, I mean that's where I'm used to seeing him at. But um, uh, he's he trusts in coach, and we all trust in coach, and we know that wherever he's he's going to be, he's going to make plays. Uh, whether it be star or safety or linebacker, it doesn't matter. He's going to make plays, and um, that's really all it's about. And just communicating with each other on the field and everything, where we don't have to worry about where he is or anyone else on the on a team, we don't have to think about where they are because we know where our safety help is going to be, where our star help is going to be and everything. But I'm really confident for him. I'm, I'm confident that he's going to uh, come out and be healthy and he's going to make a lot of plays for us this year. When, when did that change? Because I know at the beginning of the spring, obviously, he was switching around between weak side and stars. I mean, was in the last week he's kind of been exclusively back at star again? Yeah, last week and a half, two weeks, um, he's been really working on star and everything. And he's another guy who's coming into his own and being more comfortable with um, the scheme and everything. And um, I, I feel like the, the, more, the more he plays there, that's the better off he'll be. All right.